Well, Taiwan is taking unprecedented steps to prepare for a possible Chinese attack. The main international airport will be briefly closed today as the Air Force uses civilian airstrips during major military drills. Asia correspondent Brent O'Halloran joins us live now. Brent, what's the purpose of this pretty unusual exercise? Yeah, Laura, this is Taiwan International. It's the largest airport in Taiwan. Most Aussies who visited Taiwan would have landed here. It handles around 500 flights a day. But later today, the military is taking over. Taiwan will be briefly shut down as Ta Taiwan's armed forces carry out drills, simulating a Chinese attack here. Now, this is part of the annual Hongguang military drills taking place across Taiwan this week. This is the first time this airport has been used during these exercises. And analysts say it's high time the military rehearse this sort of scenario. This is a very close to real scenario because uh, uh, the northern uh, Taiwan's airports uh, in case of a war occur across the street uh, should be the first target for the PRA uh, to try their best to take over. Well, today is day three of the five-day annual Hang Guang drills, the largest in its 39-year history. Yesterday, we saw soldiers and police rehearse uh, an attack or repelling an attack on a LNG facility in the southern city of Kaohsiung. But not everything's been going to plan for the Taiwanese military. Bad weather caused by the looming super typhoon Doksuri forced the cancellation of Air Force drills in Taitong tai yesterday. And on Monday, nine troops were injured in an explosion at an ammunition depot in northern Taiwan. So I'd say there'd be a, a few people in fatigues with their fingers crossed ahead of today's drills <laughs> here in Taiwan, Laura. I think so, Brent. What about China's response? Has there been any response from these drills? Well, one of the best ways to gauge the Chinese government's uh, response to goings on in Taiwan is to look at the PLA activity near Taiwan. And there's been a huge uptick recently uh, in PLA jets and vessels uh, approaching the median line. In fact, I think 10 PLA jets crossed the median line between China and Taiwan on the first day of these Hang Guang drills. So you can read into that and suggest that perhaps the, that, uh, the Chinese military is not too happy with, with what the Taiwanese military is up to this week, Laura. Brent O'Halloran live there in Taiwan for us. Thanks so much.